Good evening, ladles and jelly beans. Welcome to Start Building Me, my nightly training concept to get you into the routine of working out. You have to exercise every day, folks. It is mandatory. I know it's something that people struggle with, and that's why I am here to be the person that holds your hand in some basic workout routines, just showing you what is needed to be done every day. This is stuff that people like me used to do when we were growing up in the days before the internet, folks. You had to go out and entertain yourself outside, generally in some form of exercise. And so I'm trying to bring it back. It's like, a, you know, what do they call them? Throwback jerseys from the NBA and football teams. This is throwback entertainment, folks. So it might seem old school and naff. I don't care whatever lingo you want to say these days about exercise, folks. But you've got to do it. That's why Start Building Me exists. You've really just got to get into the habit of exercising, folks. You shouldn't see it as a chore. It's going to be quick, in and out, usually within 20 minutes. You can even just get your heart rate up, blood pressure up, do whatever you can do and then get out of here, folks, and do whatever it is you're doing. I was watching a YouTube video whilst taking some notes about a video that I'm going to do on this weekend for Start Building Me about diet and seeing the protests that are going on in France. Wild stuff, folks. So let's walk and talk. What am I doing, folks? It's called exercise, specifically a body weight squat. Check out the Start Building Me YouTube site if you want to get a more in-depth explanation of what it is that I'm doing. I'm just going to have a bit of a session for myself today with my usual banter, so not that much explanations of what I'm doing when you can go and check out my videos on YouTube. I am going to straighten my mat though because I find it irritating when I look at the screen without it. Ow. Some things up might look better. Mildly better. And I just smacked my hand in the interim as well. <sighs> and breathe, folks. One thing that I am always trying to tell you is I'm not trying to farm engagement like so many people where they stream. I'm streaming to Twitch. I'm streaming to Facebook. I'm streaming to YouTube. I am the anti engagement person. Ideally, what I want you to do is exercise away from here. So it sort of sounds counterintuitive. You're like, oh, bro, you know, whatever his name is, that streamer that makes $15 million getting kids to watch him play video games. That terrifies me. And it's not his fault. Good on him. You know, like it's he's playing a video game and people are watching. But folks, there's a lot more to life than being somebody else's engagement. And that's what I'm trying to show you. You know, I've been out in the sun today. I've been doing my exercise. I get a lot off that. And I think, you know, realistically, everyone does. But a lot of people haven't experienced it. A lot of people haven't been bullied into sports by soccer mums and dads like I have to get to the point where you just see how fantastic exercise is which is why I'm doing this here. I am shilling the beauty of health and diet and exercise, folks. Something that, as I always say, is mandatory. It's something that you've got to do, not necessarily in the start building me form, but just get outside and walk, get some sun, drink some water, drink a protein shake, get some protein, eat some meat, eat some eggs, some simple steps, some videos that I'm going to be showing you over time at the same time as doing exercise for myself. I've been doing a lot of walking today, but I haven't been really doing any deep stretching. So this is something where I can get a two for one out of this workout. Do something for myself as well, of course, which is most important of all. I'm trying to get you to consider your own health, folks, just like I'm considering my own. And it is the most important thing to do in my life because people will be like, well, that sounds really selfish, Dave. This is the most important thing in your life is your health, not the health of others. 
you're not good to anybody dead, folks. So you've got to keep yourself healthy so you can look after people in your life, like your friends, like your family, like people that mean something to you. So it might seem counterintuitive like that, but you've really got to focus on your exercise. Short and sweet, five minutes in. We're 25% of the way through. Uh, my tendons are feeling a lot better than they have been recently. I'm still not going to go back to the gym for a while until all my tendons are sorted out. My rebuild videos uh, have stagnated a little bit. Uh, nothing really to report apart from me. I'm trying to maintain a high protein diet with all my supplements and branch chain amino acids for a healthy diet as well as just keeping momentum going with exercise. I'm currently 83 kilos down from 89 when I was doing a lot of weight. So it shows you how quickly you can fluctuate in the span of less than a month. Anyway, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Resting heart rate this morning, 45. After doing a few squats, let's see what that pumps me up to. Oh, 108 BPM. That was a lot, a lot higher than yesterday. Maybe fatigue, maybe dehydration makes my heart work a little bit harder when you're dehydrated. So despite me drinking, it, which has been described by Andrew Huberman on the Huberman Labs podcast, by Dr. Andy Galpin, I believe his name is the Galpin equation, which is two to four mils per kilogram of body weight of fluid per hour without exercise, and roughly double that when exercising. So to keep it simple, let's just say two. So for me at 80, it's 160 mils per hour, which is, you know, Two thirds of a regular highball glass. Highball glass means something to you. Maybe if you're an alcoholic or former alcoholic like me, if not, uh, 180 mils is really not that much fluid per hour to drink for the correct functioning of your brain. So consider that two to four milligrams, or sorry, two to four milliliters per kilogram of body weight per hour is what you roughly need fluid wise and double that when you're exercising. So I don't think I doubled that today and I was out in 32 degree sunshine, lifting heavy weights, doing a lot of walking. So I feel a little bit dehydrated now. And when I stood on the scales afterwards, I've been weighing consistently in at 89 kilos for the last few weeks. And at the moment I was down to 83. So I'd say I'm heavily dehydrated and hence the 102 BPM. So I'm going to try and see if it happens again. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see what that does. Well, wow. my heart stopped. <laughs> That's weird. I've never seen that happen on my iWatch. iWatch, Apple Watch rather. 113 BPM. So warm up range is roughly 120. So I haven't still properly warmed up, but this is not a warm up session or a real exercise session for me, folks. <sighs> I'm just trying to get my blood pump in. Just trying to wind down, just trying to keep my content consistent online to be that annoying voice of reason to tell you all, whether you're live or watching this on repeat somewhere in the world, that you have to exercise, folks. It's mandatory. You may not want to, you may struggle with it. And that's what I'm here to try and help you with. Six kilograms of dehydration drink up. It's wild. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot of food as well, so basically when uh, our little cousin and his uh, missus were up here, I was just, uh, <laughs> it was funny, she said, it's so good to be 
with somebody who just cleans up all the food afterwards if somebody it's like basically Jesus's role as we know uh, my brother-in-law to be to sell star jump um, so I think it was Friday Saturday Sunday of me just eating like a pig and then doing a sauerkraut cleanse thinking I've got to purge all this stuff and then just sort of having a modest diet uh, over the last few days and um, and yeah in this heat plus moving like half a ton to a ton of different salts per day what's this oh ba Bowser a big bean burrito back in the house I'm just trying to figure out what this meme is some sort of space alien I'm not quite I am quite hip and with it with a Pikachu I know I can recognize that one that's how you know dirty old neo boomers like me no Pikachu but I'm just trying to figure out what that last one is anyway I've done a lot of lifting today I've been out in the sun I've been dizzy as uh, <laughs> I also know that because my friend had a cat called Pikachu and he used to always say Pika Pika I am gonna do 10 more squats and do some push-ups and get out of here good to see you in the house though Bowser big bean burrito if you can do a few squats a few push-ups with me that would make my day because as I'm trying to say it doesn't have to be that much exercise all we're trying to do like I was explaining is get the blood pumping through your body a bit so it goes to your brain when blood goes to your brain all good things happen it's something that you need to stay alive and functioning over the course of your life and folks as I always say I'm not a salesman I'm a data analyst who works in healthcare I was never suitable to be a salesman because salesmen are uh, this is PG so I can't say exactly what I believe salesmen to be some salesmen are great but um, a lot of the time let's just say they're not particularly ethical now they're trying to sell you something snake oils subscriptions elixirs I don't want anything from you I don't even want your engagement I want you to go and exercise <laughs> and be your own engagement make your own culture whatever that may be I want you to do some exercise, get outside, go for a walk, get some sun, and that's what's improved my life. And I'm pretty sure from so many people that I know, athletes, uh, high-powered businessmen, finance traders, computer programmers, software engineers, petroleum engineers, uh, you know, people that surf, play golf, people that get outside and do exercise, it really improves their life. And so that's what I'm here doing at Start Building Me, is trying to influence you. Yes, I hate the term being called an influencer, kind of makes me sick to my stomach. But nonetheless, I am trying to influence you, influence you to see how easy it is to make a quick difference, to get the blood pumping through your body, and then to get the hell out of here. Play some video games for all I care, have dinner, do your homework. Do work if your boss is still cracking the whip at the end of the day. Mine isn't. Thank goodness. <sighs> I'll do a few more squats because it feels good. And I do enjoy a good squat because I've been carrying stuff all day. I've been walking all day. And so a squat is something where you can really stretch all the muscles involved in your legs and lower back. Pump that blood up through your body in what is the most essential compound movement, folks. What is a compound movement? A very simple demonstration. A bicep curl, which you've probably seen in movies, whatever, is an isolation exercise or isolated muscle exercise. You're basically working a very specific muscle. With a compound movement like a squat like this, from the other perspective, maybe, this perspective, this perspective, it's not just your butt, it's your hamstrings, your quadriceps, your hip flexors, your lower back, your core, uh, your feet, your calves, everything's being used for this exercise. That's why it's really efficient. And that's why I'll be gone in five minutes because I've got the blood pumping around my body. 
roughly 105 BPM, which is good enough. And like I said, you don't need to go to the gym, you don't need equipment, you don't need to buy anything from me, you don't need subscriptions, you don't need spandex, you don't need, uh, I don't know. Expensive equipment's always weird. Joining cult-like gyms is weird as well, like CrossFit and stuff. And again, if you do CrossFit, I'm not taking the proverbial mick out of you, but just look after yourself. Uh oh, my dog's going off. Anyway, 10 more, do some push-ups. Let's get out of here. 15 minutes on the clock, another five minutes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. As well, folks, the numbers are always arbitrary. You don't have to do 10, you can do five, you can do one, you can do half. <laughs> Might be harder to break down. You don't really have to do that many. Just try and do a few, get the blood pumping. And uh, hopefully you're going to do something good today. Four more minutes on the clock. And uh, I'll be done for the day. I've got to key, continue making some videos. I will do a rebuild video. Actually, no, I'll wait till the end of the week and summarize the last few weeks about me still waiting to get my tendons to heal. My goodness, folks, slow and steady wins the race is a very true statement. Try not to injure yourself. Once you injure yourself, you can keep on injuring yourself. That's the difference between what is known as chronic and acute pain. Acute pain is pain that you've just done, something that's just happened, uh, something that you can heal quite quickly. Chronic pain is something that becomes ongoing damage uh, where the problem will basically be with you more or less for life depending on whether or not there'll be a solution in the healthcare realm. What I always try and explain to people, folks, is that doctors aren't getting better, medical technology is, right? So doctors are only as good as the technology that we're producing for them, which is what I do for a living as a healthcare data analyst. So when chronic pains exist, there's not a lot a doctor can do for you. There's not that much the pharmaceutical industry can do for you either. Surgery is not a very good option either. It's expensive, especially if you're in the States and um, you don't always heal. So if you continually exercise and just do a little bit, keep yourself healing, keep yourself going, less inclined to get chronic pain, less inclined to get chronic illness, and you'll live a happy long life without all kinds of chronic issues, which can easily be avoided by doing this. Do them off your knees. If you can't do a strict push-up, it doesn't matter, folks. I'm just trying to bang out a few push-ups myself, folks, for my own well-being. 18 minutes on the clock. What can I get done in the next two minutes? Let's see, let's just, let's go. Tense your butt, tense your feet, spread your fingers, and continue to breathe. And it could be one, it could be two, it could be five, it could be 10, it could be 20. The whole purpose of Start Building Me is to do whatever you are capable of. Don't try and compete with me, you are not me. So who cares how many I do? If you can try and do one or two, even if they're off your knees, and you come and hang out with me and listen to my crazy screeching a couple times a week, not even every night, once or twice, come and hang out and you'll get into the rhythm, you will see benefits. And that is the whole purpose of Start Building Me is to teach you that consistency, folks, is what makes you good at things, right? Whether it's a video game, riding a bike, schoolwork, computer programming, everything that I do in my life gets better with consistency. And it's the same with you. You're not gonna get good if you go to the gym once a week. But if you do a couple minutes with me here from time to time, whenever you see me pop up, which is seven o'clock at my time in Queensland, in Australia or eight o'clock in New South Wales, don't have to do it on repeat. 
Sorry, you don't have to do it live either. You can do it on repeat. Like I said, I'm not trying to farm engagement here, folks. Influencer to me is a dirty word. I am trying to get you out of your house. I'm trying to get you off the internet and into the wilderness. Safe wilderness, hopefully. You know, we have snakes and we have spiders in Australia, but wilderness in the US, you might have bears and mountain lions. So be careful where you walk. Uh, <laughs> but folks, really, you know, simple exercises, compound exercises. I will explain them in depth. The more you come, the more questions you have, I'll answer them. Look at the YouTube channel. Ask me on Twitter. Ask me on Facebook. Send a private message if you don't want to really put a, a post. Like, don't be embarrassed. Don't be shy. There are no stupid questions, and that's my whole point. I used to think this was all very obvious, uh, but it isn't necessarily. And then the fitness industry, in my opinion, are a bunch of snake oil salesmen, and I think they're very untrustworthy. And I think it turns a lot of people away from it. I mean, I could be turning a lot of people away from exercise as well because I'm crazy. But hey, all I'm trying to do is to show you that with consistency, you can get jacked as well. <laughs> um, and really, you can. I had go, I got tendon issues from doing too many chin-ups and I've had about four weeks off the gym now. I've gone from 89 kilos to 83 kilos, and uh, I'm feeling good. I'm hitting the bag heavier when I'm doing boxing. I'm running further. Can skip for longer because I've lost a few kilos. So um, you've got to take the bitter with the sweet. If you can't pe press iron anymore because you've got something sore, then there's always some sort of other exercise you can do. And if you're injured, you know, you might want to throw your diet out the window for a few weeks and... Hey, I can tell you now that I had some steaks and I had some seafood and I had pancakes once for breakfast. I haven't had pancakes in, well, uh, possibly years. So you don't have to be as strict and as, uh, as insane as a lot of these Instagram accounts and all these influencers are telling you. Uh, you can live your life still, basically, and still have a great physique, great conditioning. You just have to be... Consistent, reasonably consistent at least. Anyway, what do we got here? 22. I'm going to do 10 more push-ups and get out of here, folks. Love you as always. Like and subscribe if you haven't. Come and train from time to time with me to see that this is the most important thing that you'll be doing in your life. Whether you believe it or not is relevant to me because facts are facts, folks. And that's what we are working on. <sighs> Take it easy, folks. Have a good night. Love you wherever you are in the world. And remember, switch off the news, switch off the influences, influence yourself. The most important person's culture is your own. Have a great night, folks. Take it easy.